Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Playbook. My name is Scott Gordon. I'm excited to be here because I'm going to do something I love, but uh, something's really bothering me this morning. And reason being is, have you looked up what Attorney General Merrick Garland is doing in conjunction with the School Board Association and the FBI? What they're trying to do, the parents that are protesting against curriculum like CRT and gender studies at a very young age. It happened in the state of Virginia. Congress has had a hearing on it. I recommend you go study that to a T. I recommend you look at the emails between uh, the National School Board Association and Merrick Garland. I refuse to refer to him anymore as an attorney general. Um, he is a weak, pencil neck man. Um, and then his emails to the FBI, wanting people labeled domestic terrorists, this is the school board association. Anyone that protests them, labeled as domestic terrorists, used under the Patriot Act, targeted, and ultimately arrested for what they've done. And probably worse, because you're calling somebody a terrorist. But I'm going to tell you where this started. When they say get control, what they meant was, and I'm, I need to read this verbatim, because he just explains it. There's no better way to explain it. Getting control included permeating the culture with corrosive and false perspectives about true principles of freedom and those who brought them to America, meaning immigrants who came in, meaning people that brought over slaves, um, however you got here, in other words. For example, it's painting Western culture, capitalism, uh, capitalism and traditional American values as divisive, one-sided, greedy, racist, and old-fashioned, which is commonplace today. Parents may see these changes already being established by examining what their children bring home as facts and reviewing their curriculum. If you're not doing that, my parents did that, and I grew up in the 70s and 80s. If you're not doing that now, you're letting your child down. It's plain and simple. You are letting somebody else raise your child. And don't, look, don't try to play it on, I got to work, I send my kids to school, I got... To, who cares? You have children. That is your first priority here on earth. You need to pay attention what is going on in these schools right now. And especially since the National School Board Association is making these claims about parents that are doing this just last year. You think they care about you? I mean, you're the one paying the bills for them. You're the taxpayer. Obviously, you think they would. But no, they don't. And if, you're, if you claim to be a Christian conservative and you're not watching what your kids are being taught, what is being digested by their mind, you are not doing, doing your job. And that is why a kid goes off to college, they come back, and they're, they're raging liberal, screaming liberal, and their parents wonder, I don't know what happened to little Johnny. He was such a sweet boy. You didn't do your job. You didn't do your job as a parent. You didn't teach them. That's not Sunday school's job. That's not the church's job. It's not the school's job to teach them. It's yours. So I'm done with that part there. If you're not doing it, you, well. <clears throat> so something that was measured in 2003 was the average 15-year-old was ranked in the lower half of nations measured in math, reading, and science literacy. Now, we were told in the 1990s that we had brought scores up back to the top. That was not true. That was never true. Bill Clinton came from a state that had the worst education record. Now it's one of the best, which is so funny, after he left and brought that same system federally and, well, it made us worse. Mm. Anyway. But detracting from solid education is a national addiction, national addiction to fantasy, I'm sorry, fantasy worlds realistically created in color, sound, dimension, a plot, via television, internet, and video games. Americans spend an average of 150, I didn't even read that, right, 153 hours a week uh, watching television. An average American boy spends 13 hours a week on video games, girls only five. That's why girls have control. That's why they've always had control. Because you dudes, you nerds, are playing video games which is when you should be out doing something active with girls. Dummies. By age 21, the average young man or young American will have spent 10,000 hours playing video games. That's double the time it takes to earn a four-year degree. 
So I'm, you know, I'm going to get our parents for a second. And, and if a kid is out there and you're hearing this, quit being an idiot with a remote control in your hand. Quit being a fat ass that eats Cheetos and plays video games all damn day. The girls are outside. The girls want to go do stuff. And you want to know why your self-esteem is the way it is, guys? Because you do crap like this, and then you wonder when you get out, you do get out of the real world, and you don't know what to say, and you don't know what to do, and you look like crap, and you're flabby, and you're... It's because you spent all those hours behind a TV. Now, the parents, because I was raised in a generation that could have done this. If this is you, and you're that... Well, I, you know what? I don't care. I fat shame the shit out of it. You're that fat, flabby parent that blames everything on the world. You push that down to your kids. Your kids are doing the same thing. And you're blaming society for their self-esteem issues. Look back in the damn mirror. I'm, I'm really tired of that victim mentality. Our kids should have no victim mentality. They're growing up in the United States of America, you dumbasses. Sorry, I get a little wound up. Um, now, tied to all this is... Rewriting hit history in our schools. That's done through the textbooks. Those cultures that were conquered, rejected, absorbed during America's birthing period are now being exalted as more virtuous virtuous, sorry, and noble than America's own. Now look, every nation that has risen in this world, in all the years society has that people have been here on this planet, one beats another. That that uh, party or that country or that ideal takes over and pushes the other one out and that's the way it goes and to the victors go the spoils and I you know, I don't like what happened to the American Indians any more than you do but this is America now and it's not coming back and I'm not putting their history above mine if they do that's their culture that's fine but for it to be taught as more virtuous than what we did in World War II stopping Hitler, more virtuous than winning our independence from <laughs> the colonizers, for crying out loud. Texas winning its independence from one of the most evil governments in the world at that time is definitely heroic and virtuous and noble. You have these intellectuals now that uh, that have just I don't even know the word that you, that you would use for this have just mangled the name of the founding fathers and I'll tell you something else you can go into a school now you don't see pictures of George Washington Thomas Jefferson Madison um, Franklin you don't see you don't see anybody from that time period. Matter of fact, I don't know who you see on the walls. I think it's pictures of just abstract art. I'm not kidding. Go to these new schools and just look around. I mean, I'm sure there's pictures of students and teachers, and that should be. But when the education system is not monitored by the parents, by the people who pay taxes, and it is left to its own devices to be run a certain way, those people get in control. What I said a while ago, the to the victors go the spoils. They have taken it over. They're changing it. They're rewriting history. Why? Well, unlike civilizations that have been taken over in the past, Americans don't fight. I mean, we do. We have brave men that have done that. Now women that are doing that. But I'm talking about the everyday American that's supposed to be protecting what we were given the keys to. We were given the keys to this badass car. And we're letting people that don't know how to work on cars just tinker with it and see what happens. We're like, screw it. That's a good way to look at it. Right now, it's not starting. One light works. The ashtray is popped out. Somebody tried to hotwire it. Got a flat tire. All because generations have become lazy and they're focused on... And look, I don't want to hear anything else about, you know, they're keeping us distracted. Well, because they can. They, they can. If you're distracted by what is going on today and not able to find the truth, 
because you're too busy being distracted watching football or The Voice, or and you're not paying attention to your kids. I got to work too much. I have this to do. Uh, no, you're the problem. It's time to get involved. And it's time to go after the school boards right now as parents, not violently for the love of God, because that's what all victims want to claim. But in numbers as taxpayers, you go down there and go, listen, you're not teaching gender studies to my children. And the majority of Americans will tell you they don't want that. Federally, I don't care what I don't care what the Fed wants. We're going to do it this way, and people start lining up behind that. That's what what a cause is, and that's when things change. When a school board is shut down and cannot teach what it is trying trying to teach the communist uh, propaganda or trying to teach the progressive propaganda anymore, that's when things will start to change. And hopefully we'll have somebody in the federal government that will change things or at least get us back to what we were, which is Americans in control. Look, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, real quick, they always say like and subscribe. Please do. I want to grow this channel into a community of, of like-minded, well, no, not just like-minded people, bull. I want a lot of people coming over from the left trying to prove this wrong and then seeing the way. I would love that. I would love to have new brothers and sisters coming in every day. Uh, best comment of the day. I got a bag of, well, the Franklin halves and 50 cent pieces. Uh, pre-64, so they're real silver. I will send one to your doorstep. So best comment. I will then DM you, and we will get it out to you ASAP. Thank you for your time. I know it's 12 minutes. Uh, you, just, you can't fit this information uh, into a short period of time. Uh, thank y'all so very much for letting me do what I do, even if it's just a couple of y'all watching. And uh, have a great day. Where's the damn button? No, oh, there it is.